um, uh, air um, through their internal lungs from the from the oxygen in in the atmosphere, um, and so these guys are still internal breathers. Now, to give you to give you an idea, this is this is the small. Oh, hang on, let me try. Let me try and zoom in on that one. This is this is the smallest of them all, and uh, when I mean small, I mean really small. This is my finger. And look at it. The, the, the detail, you can see the, the detail of those little little legs. Everything already seems so complete and so so beautiful. Um, here it goes. And and although they're not able to, to, to breathe outside yet, you can see there isn't too much resistance because they, they they are probably at a stage where they will they will transition from um, they will be transitioning from being um, solely water um, uh, uh, living creatures to soon um, uh, trans uh, transitioning to their lungs and what will happen is these little feathery gills um, will actually uh, disappear. Uh, they, they'll they'll uh, they'll they'll shrink, wither and 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 uh, disappear, and um, they'll they will then um, be able to. Uh, what they will do then is uh, actually leave the water, um, and um, explore around, and they will either decide to hibernate. Um, under a log, under a rock, um, for the winter, or they might actually hibernate in the water. So you're probably wondering, well, if they haven't got internal lungs, if they haven't, if they haven't got external lungs anymore, how can they hibernate out of the water? Look, I've got, a, I've got the cup all here on my finger. Look at these babies. Just absolutely beautiful. Well, the answer to your question is simply that they, um, they can breathe through their skin. And, um, so even as adult, they will they they will they will be able to hibernate underwater. Um, look at this! Just the, the the magnificent perfection of this miniature creature, absolutely glorious, glorious little thing. I'm gonna let it go back in the water. Here we go. Um, so they 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 can breathe oxygen through their skin as adults but they can only do so in uh, in limited ways um, so when there's very little activity required such as hibernation time um, they'll be able to stay underwater for the winter but as soon as uh, they um, start thinking about things like uh, mating and feeding and uh, uh, looking for suitable habitat to lay their eggs in uh, they will they will require to uh, come up to the surface and breathe now and then so to top up to top up on the oxygen that they need and also the the the, the higher the water temperature uh, the less oxygen available in there so in the winter for hibernation uh, there's there's ample amounts uh, for them to capture. So this is it. This is, these are our babies. Oh, look at that. I've just got my, my fingers under the ball. And you can just see. This is just my pinky. <laughs> this is just so small. So small. So perfect. So cute. So adorable. Absolutely adorable. So this is it. These are our guys for today. And uh, let me zoom out. Here we go. And... Um, Oh, that was really exciting because, um, yeah, I feel like I've uh, directly promoted the existence of at least four 
nudes um, and um, providing they are uh, careful with predators they might make it to uh, uh, fully fledged adults and um, re reproduce once again in this little habitat um, that um, we've just seen there so yes um, keep on um, uh, keeping on and um, um, yes, um, it just goes to show how little is uh, required to promote uh, more of the natural world and, and of wildlife to uh, find ways uh, to restore itself um, around us. So hope this has been inspiring and uh, I send you loads and loads of love. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. All right. Bye for now. Bye.